Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. We are going to war against Austrasia here for this, this duchy. Excuse me, sorry. Um, why? Because we can. And that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, there's really no other reason that we're doing it than because we can. Got a lot of troops here. A lot of troops here in late game. Alright, Romer army, go jump on those guys. And kill one soldier on your way. That poor soldier. I mean, you would think he'd be able to hide somewhere. And, like, we wouldn't be able to find him. It's a big province. Come on. All right. That was obviously super easy. As this entire war was expected to be. Oh, we got another person to capture. Wow. Keep capturing people. All right, I guess we're probably good chasing down armies. I think there's literally not much left for these guys. Like, how many troops does it say you have? It says you still got 8,000 troops somewhere. Uh, sure, you can have 30 gold to experiment with. Actually, there's a stack of 3,000 down there. So let's go try and chase those guys down. I'm actually surprised we're not getting much percentage from this stuff. This is crazy. Got a lot of land, though, so I guess that's a big part of it. Oh, no! My commander was slain. That's no good. All right, where are you going, dude? Bourbon. We'll keep chasing you. For now. Uh, La Marche. Oh, actually, looks like we're going to catch you, so... I will just let it go. You're too slow. I said we were going to catch you. Dude, that, that's just not fair. All right, you know what? Whatever. We're going to come over here and start sieges more stuff down. You're not going to cause that much trouble. We got the Duchy of Flanders. Oh, wow. Another commander? What? We haven't even been at... Like, the only battles we have at the moment... Oh, my goodness. You. Did you have a commander... And, like, I did not realize that you were up there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so silly and sad. Like, do we have guys over here? We do have guys over here. That's part of our problem. Like, do we own this or something? No. Why are you over there? All right, go away. Like, who are you? Where'd you come from? I don't understand why you're even over here. A lot of guys over here doing stuff, so. Like, what is this? Like, due to presence in our homelands. Alright, just sit there. I mean, if you get beat up on, I'm not that worried about it. You, however, should be able to stand down and go away, because I don't need you guys. Is there really retinue there? Okay, well then come over and group up with these guys. Whatever. So weird. Alright, so you actually are seizing some stuff down, but I'm not that worried about it. Screaming Arrows. You receive a report on the outcome of the military experiments that your marshal asked you to sponsor. Apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out based on far eastern models. Nice. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as practice targets. Unfortunately, on the second trial, several of these missiles misfired, one striking the engineer dead, and another nearly killing the marshal. Poor engineer. We lost some technology points. Oh, well. Not much. Actually, we do have some available technology. Um, siege equipment, because it seems mildly relevant at this very moment in time, because we're sieging something. Over vassal limit, I'm not too surprised. Over domain limit, council position, let's get us another steward. You can be my steward, good sir. Um, I guess we'll designate a regent. You, um, my son. My son can be my regent, even though, yeah, I don't know if that makes that much sense, but that's okay. 
We'll deal with our over limit stuff once we get this war done, because we're going to have some more land over here anyway. No, I'm not I'm not going to go messing with people in my presence. That's just weird. Come on now. Be nice. You guys just group up. All will be well. All right, I think we can safely go up to speed four. Breeze through these sieges a little bit quicker. 43%. After years of careful planning, uh, somebody, okay, it's just one of those things. Not a big deal. Come on, little siege guys. No, I'm not going to give you any land. Stop asking. Seriously. I'm, I'm very greedy. Well, not really, but well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> At least in this game. I want to keep the land I got. You can have some of the land I actually... You know what? Had you asked me for some of the land that I have over here, I would have given it to you. But every time that comes up, they ask me for my actual personal holdings over here that I, I've been had since the entire game. Well, almost the entire game. So I don't know why they do that. It's like, seriously, I'll give you any of this other land. Just not that stuff. A man of great military talent. It's not really that great, but it's all right. Looks like you are. Oh, come on, let me pause. Let me pause. You are done sieging that. We'll just come down here to Dijon and siege some of that a little bit. Uh, really? Peasant revolt? Now? Come on now. Where are these peasants at? Somewhere up here? No. Are they over there in Poland? Bane of my existence, Poland. Um. Yes, you're over there in Poland. You know what? <laughs> Just because I don't want to deal with you. Offer peace. Uh, If I surrender, I lose 100 prestige, but you do become independent. Hopefully you don't bother me anymore. There, you can become independent. I don't care. It's worth 100 prestige for you to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm terrible. If I had wanted Poland, I would have gone after it. Come on now. So you want peace now. Come on. Offer peace. You will actually let me enforce demands? Really? At 72%? I'm actually surprised. But we will take it. And there we go. Uh, defensive pact against us, not going to be a problem. And that will go away soon enough. All you guys get back into our territory. Let a day pass. Go ahead and uh, stand down. You two guys will stand down, and all we have left is our retinue. Uh, that's all my retinue. Okay. Is that really all retinue? That's not all retinue. Oh, it is. Okay. It's adding the total because of the allies they're sitting underneath me. I was like, why does it say 16,000? I don't have that much of a retinue. Alrighty. Um, what now? Who is next? Are you next, Mr. Rhymes? No. Oh, uh, because you're in the same war with us. Same with this guy. Uh, actually, I think you might be next, aren't you? Did that come up? Actually, it did not. We have raised army levies? Oh, it's these guys over here. Oh, go away. I didn't want you in the first place. All right, so we still have the truce with you until 1397. So a couple more years. So we'll just sit here. Speed five for a bit. Let our stuff go down. Oh, you know what? We do need... 
Oh, look, we can name ourselves a successor in the kingdom of Australasia, apparently. Nominate me. Where's me? Really? I'm not there. I guess I don't have enough land yet. Are any of these guys even related to me? They're not. Oh, well, I don't care. Just you, whoever you are. Uh, technology. Um... Sure. More tolerance. Can't go wrong with that, I guess. I am threatening. Actually, I'm quite threatening. It's going to take a while for that to drop down. So we just still have the vassal limit and the domain too big. So how do we want to deal with that? So I do have one of these provinces, not the other. And you probably don't like me. Actually, you like me a little bit. So this is a duchy, correct? Yes. So you can have the entire duchy of... What is this? Champagne? Duchy of Champagne. Including lower titles. Done. Alright, so that's one down. And where's Flanders? Flanders is right there. So Duchy of Flanders can go to, I don't know, one of you guys that likes me a little bit. You like me a tiny bit and you like me more. So you can have it. Duchy of Flanders, include all low titles. Done. So we're at 9 and 9. That's good. We're still one over on our vassal limit, though. Is there anything law related that we could do to get more stuff there? Empire, Brittany, Realm. We go to high centralization, but that'll give us more domain, not more vassal. It actually gives us less vassal. If we go to low. Um, it does give us more vassal limit. A little bit less domain, though, I think, overall. Uh, what else can we go for? Imperial administration? Oh, wow. That would make a huge difference. We can implement duchy vice royalties. That's pretty cool. Yeah, why not? We are imperial now. We're in empire. The system of administration is similar to that of the Roman Empire, with a hierarchy of magistrates and functionaries running daily business in the name of the emperor. It allows for a power structure that uh, hands less power to permanently landed vassals. Sounds good. Very, very cool. I mean, it's just different. Something to do. Why not? Uh, obligations. We're not doing anything else with that. So all is well. So we can have up to 39 vassals now. I think that's pretty good. Uh, sure. Exposure. Why not? Do we want to imprison any of you guys just because I don't want to imprison my brother. We'll be nice to you. We'll forgive you. Brother, we forgive you. This is the guy that actually likes me, so we're not going to imprison you either. That would be strange because I just gave you Flanders. Um, Vassal levies should be good now. Let's just do it this way to make sure everything stood down. And... Can we hire any more retinue? Not at the moment. We have a lot of gold. So let's make a round real quick before we speed up the game again. Just to make sure there's nothing else we want to build. Um, Sure. Jousting list sounds fine. Barracks sounds great. Um, Training grounds, more retinue. Why not? Same here. Yeah, might as well get more retinue. I think I'm okay with that. We're doing most of our <laughs> most of our wars with our retinue these days. Oh, do we actually own this? Oh, we own that. No, you can go to a uh, new vassal. Where did we leave off? So you're good. You're good. You're good. You barracks. Uh, this is the hospital. We use up a lot of our money, but we could get some more uh, technology stuff going. Sure, why don't you take a medical academy? Same for you. Well, we're almost to the end of the tech, so I don't know why I'm actually doing that. It's not that big a deal. Alright, everything else looks fine. I 
I've inherited the Kingdom of Scotland. Let's put my domain back over the limit. Um, Kingdom of Scotland. So, who wants the Kingdom of Scotland? Does any of you guys actually like me? You do not. You would like me a lot, though, if I gave you the Kingdom of Scotland, though, wouldn't you? You like me a tiny bit. You like me a tiny, tiny bit. You like me more than the rest. So, alternatively, I could give the kingdom to one of my children, which might be better. Family. You're the Viceroy of England, Viceroy of Ireland. So, you good son, how about you become a Viceroy? Or this amazing daughter of mine. Grant landed title. Uh, I want one of these counties up here somewhere. Oxford, Bedford, those are down there, Northampton, it's way over there, well, I gotta give you something to be able to give you a viceroy, I think, yep, so I'll give you Oxford, just to have something, and then, grant viceroyalty kingdom of Scotland, because why not? Oh, did that not give you everything? What else do I have that I don't want? Alright, let's go to one of our other siblings. Man, all of our children are dead. It's actually a lot of dead children. It's kind of sad. Um, wait, why do I have troops up here? What are y'all doing up there? I thought it said, stand down. Did I not click the right button? I am very confused. I could have sworn I clicked this button. Is this retinue? Are you serious? <laughs> what are y'all doing up there? I don't understand. All right, fine. Oh, it's because we got... Okay, I get it now. We got the Kingdom of Scotland stuff while he had his armies raised. And so, therefore, the armies were raised for us. Okay, that makes more sense. But we do have more retinue now, which... Cool. We'll get you guys together. And still need to deal with the, the land. So, how many... What duchies do we have? How do I have a weak claim on the Vice Royalty of England? It's, it's my, my... I just gave it away. County of Bedford. Bedford, right there. Um, any of you guys? Bedford's all this stuff. So, do you like me at all? Not really. But I can easily get rid of these by giving these to you. Grant landed title. Duchy of Bedford. There you go. Apparently I have the Duchy of Something else? Gloucester. Oh, goodness. People stop dying. All right, you like me quite a bit. You like me less. So you can have the Duchy of Gloucester. That will give me two duchies left, which is all I can have before people start getting angry. All right, there we go. That bit of administration, administrative work is done now. That's enough chips. Go ahead and get on those. Come over here. Go ahead and group up. And you guys can stand down. And now I have a retinue of... 16,000 and... Wait. Yeah, 16,000. And I got a bunch of troops following me around for some reason. Once this threatening goes away a little bit, we'll figure out who we can go to war with next. And then we do have a while to wait, though. We have to get that down to 5% before... The defensive pact will go away. 68 months. Wow. Well, nothing else. We're going to speed through these 
these uh, years a little bit quicker. I'm ready for the end of the game. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie, but I do want to finish it. I kind of want to just play through the whole thing. I haven't played through the entire game, start to finish, beginning year to end year, uh, and so this is definitely an opportunity to do that. What's going on here? Oh, my husband died. I am so sorry, husband. I'm 58 years old. Am I really going to get married again? I guess so. Seems a little strange. We're going to marry this 57-year-old just because it makes sense to me. Even though he offers me basically nothing. Just because. I can, or, uh, I can marry this guy. He's actually a little bit better. Just because. Oh no, I forgot it has to be metrilineal since I'm female. Um, I lose prestige because I'm marrying a courtier, but you know what? Sure, just because I don't really care. I'm 58 years old. I don't think I'm having any more children. It's not a big deal. All right, we're going to put a cut in here. Uh, next time we will wait out this uh, threat a little bit and see who we can go to war with next. I appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye.